Hey guys, Zer here, and today I'm finally starting a new series that I'm calling Monday Memories, a 100% original and totally clever name for sure. I even pulled out uh, a drawing from my pack stick flash video that's here on my channel to use for this series. So the majority of games that I play on my channel and for my live streams are retro games, old consoles like NES, SNES, DOS, things like that. But there's a particular set of games that I haven't tapped into yet, arcade games. And going to the arcade was one of my favorite things to do growing up, and I still enjoy them now. So that's what this series is for. I want to relive my memories of playing some of those games using MAME and share them with you. Now because of the nature of most old arcade games, these videos will most likely be much shorter in comparison to the Mega Monday or Toad Tuesday videos, and that's okay. A lot of arcade games were designed to be very simple and easy to play, though not necessarily easy to beat. And I don't plan to beat every game that I show you if they can even be technically beaten at all. So some videos might only be a couple of minutes long to show off the core gameplay, and then we'll move on to a new game in the next one. So with that said, I wanted to start this series off with one of my all-time favorites, Tron, which is based on the original 1982 movie of the same name. So let's jump into it. So when I think of Tron, it makes me think of the old uh, look at the arcades, and funny enough, like in the actual movie, like Flynn's Arcade, how you have all the rows of arcade cabinets just lined up in a more dimly lit place. That's what I think of. Like Those two go hand in hand for me, because I have a lot of memories of going to Lake Tahoe and going to Harvey's and Harris and going downstairs where they had all the arcade games with the blue lighting, and then we could play Tron there, the only place that ever had Tron. Um, so it's... It was one of my favorite ones. I don't want to show off too much of the game here, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put in the credits here. One of the nice things is that I don't have to actually put in quarters for this. Remember quarters when we actually had to use those for arcades? A lot of places now use a uh, card swiping with credits, which I get it. It's kind of a more you know refined system, but something about putting in those quarters in those machines, man. All right, so let's go ahead here and start. Now for the games that I know decently well, I'll try to explain things. I may not be able to explain 100% of everything, but for here, we have to pick a starting stage in this first area, which you don't know what you're picking, just move the cursor to one of the four uh, areas. In this one, we randomly get the tank one. This one's easy enough. Okay, destroy all the enemy tanks, and to start with, it's just one, fine. We can swivel around our, our thing here, fire off some shots, they bounce off walls. You can even go into the center thing here, which randomly teleports you. Uh, probably not very practical when you're actually trying to um, beat it on the harder levels because um, it could just be put you right into danger. Now, I'm trying to avoid line of sight with that tank because if he once he gets line of sight, he will fire a shot at you that's much faster than your tank. So I'm trying to bounce it off the walls and corners to stay out of his line of sight. Now this one we have to enter the MCP cone. And forgive the tapping you're gonna be hearing here. You have to destroy all these. Well, you don't destroy all of them. You have to destroy them to create a path to reach into the cone. Now, right now, I can make a path and go for it. But, because it's on the easiest level right now, I'm actually gonna show you guys. You do get a point bonus of a thousand for destroying all of it. I think I got it all. Oh, nope. There we go. It automatically ends there. Thousand point bonus for hitting all the blocks. Normally, you just make a path and get in there. You can also see at the bottom there, that name, right now it's RPG. It's gonna change as the difficulty goes up. It's kinda like we're in like the first stage. Um, it'll get harder as we go. Now this is one of my favorite ones because... It's got the music! But you don't get to hear enough of it. This is the part where it's got the, uh, the spider things that like multiply themselves. Which I always thought were really cool looking in the movie. Now I just need to make a path and make it into that center thing. But if you let time run low, when it gets down to 100 or less, it starts to beep at you, so you gotta get in there, and then... Uh, and then finally, now this kind of worked out nicely, the last one, the thing that everybody wanted to play when the movie came out, the light cycles. Avoid hitting the light traces and walls and use the trigger for speed control. Now the first stage is real easy. It's real easy to trap him. I'm just gonna slow down now until he finally dies. Uh, you basically, you have to trap the CPU. You can't do it otherwise. Uh, you won't win otherwise. Um, so now see, now it's Cobalt down below. I recognize some of these programming languages. Now, the uh, the actual things are random, which level it goes to. There's no way to tell, as far as I know. So you kind of, and you have to beat them all anyways to progress. So it doesn't necessarily matter what order you go in. Just pick them. Pick whichever one. If you stay in the center and let time run out, it'll just automatically randomly pick one. Maybe I'll even just show that here. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to wait the timer out, because you get to hear more of the music. Can 
only kind of here, don't know my tapping, unfortunately. I'm sorry, but... Now, I'm losing points for not getting in quickly, but I don't care. I want to hear the music. So let's see what happens here. When I, when I, when I don't move at all, it's going to randomly pick one of the three that are remaining. And it ultimately doesn't matter, but... Uh, like I said, if you could tell what the stage was going to be, that'd be different. Oh, see, it even just moves it down. Now, the cone itself, it can change direction. You can see that the cone gets longer. So now my goal is just get in. And see through the tank of the bike. Now we got three guys. Now this is still doable. I'm going to slow down until he... It's, oh, I pressed down! Oh, come on! <laughs> I pressed down. It's a little weird doing it with with the uh, with this. I'm not using the actual arcade sticks, clearly, and the and the wheel and everything. But well, whatever. Okay. That wall wasn't that pretty, anyways. I'm telling you, I'm pressing to the right. You know, what I probably need to do. I probably need to hold it a little more. There's probably a little bit of a timing of when it picks it up. Because it's like, you can imagine there's an actual grid. Yeah, there's a little bit of a timing to it. Okay, that's that's why I was crashing. God, it sucks. Now, we've got three tanks. Okay, see, so there's the shot. Now, three's not too bad. Honestly, the first stage kind of, you know, it teaches you all the different things, and it keeps it real simple. The second one, okay, it ups the difficulty, but it's still manageable. The third is when it's going to start to ramp up here. This is where I actually would really start to lose. Alright, now we're down to basic. Oh god, and we get the tank. This one is going to suck. Because I'm trying to maintain, get out of their line of sight. Ah, uh, not in a good spot, not in a good spot! <laughs> See, that, that one I let get out of control, because I also didn't know it was going to be the tank. I wasn't ready. So let's try going to a different one. All right, nice, nice. Generally speaking, this one's one of the easier ones. But again, we're going to let the music play out. Uh, do I dare try to move on? You know what? Screw the tank one, because uh, that, one's, that, that one's difficult. I definitely approached it wrong to start with. Um, but I wasn't ready for the tank. And I don't think, uh, I think when I die, I'm not gonna continue. Again, the whole point of this series is to kind of show off the game. And this is the game. It just gets harder as you go along. It might even hit a certain, uh, end point of the difficulty increase. I don't know if, like, they can add more tanks or more speed, you know, light cycles and, and make them faster and smarter. Like, there's a certain, like, threshold it'll hit. Uh, let's try going this way. Technically one of the ones that we can beat. I got my foot clipped! No! <laughs> oh. No! Alright, hold up. Will it let me... I think it'll... It should let me continue. Whoa! No, 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 no. Can I only do two initials? Oh, I must have, uh... I must have done one accidentally. No, I guess it's only uh, two. Since, why is it only two? All right, whatever. You know what? Screw the rules. I have money. For this particular one, we'll continue once because I won't make it much farther anyways. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, let's do this one again. I know I can do this one. Kind of just oh, okay. I barely clipped. You have to you have to make a path. You got to be confident, and you got to go. You can't just like wait it out. That was a little dicey, but we made it through. Okay, I want to make sure I at least show off the bike. See, they're faster. I'm telling you, I'm holding up. I had that one. I actually had that one beat. There we go, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see, I I can get the tank if I don't muck up the start, now that I know which one I'm going for. I like going down for this guy first. I mucked it up pretty bad. But I'm maintaining line of sight, or rather, staying out of line of sight. I'm trying to use the ricochet, I'm screwed. 
Yep, ah, I mucked up. I took too long. I took too long to kill things. It's okay, though. Yeah, we know I'm ranked two. Whatever. Doesn't even matter. I can't even put it in my full initials. Why is it only two? That makes no sense. Yeah, we'll let the time run out. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this one here. I, again, I could go on farther and keep trying, but it's, you've seen the majority of the game now. But just, it was, this was one of my favorite ones to play. It was only the one arcade that I ever recall ever seeing it at. Maybe one other when I got older. But like th that was like the only place that ever had it. But my local one did not. Um, so whenever I got to play it, it was a real treat. And uh, it makes you just think of Harvey's and Harris and the, the original layout of, of the arcade. And uh, they had these little um, like steps, not a step stool, but like a, like a two-step like a thing. You can lift it up and carry it around and uh, put it in front of the arcade machines because they knew kids would want to play. But we were really short when we were kids, so... We couldn't reach the controls otherwise. So my favorite thing was just, you know, get down there. Okay, get your get your quarters. Grab one of those. You got to look around. Okay, find one. And we basically just carried it from game to game because we needed it for all of them. Except for the ones maybe where you actually got to sit down in something like a race car one. But uh, anyway, so I wanted to start the series off with Tron. It's one of my favorites. It's kind of hard to say if it's my all-time favorite. It's really hard. Like the top three or five favorites I have it'd be really put, uh, tough to put them in order, but this one is definitely up there. But anyways, that's it for this one, so we'll be taking on a different game in the next video, so that's it for this one, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you guys next time.